ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له فمن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم فقهنا في الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In today's class we we'll learn about the fourth lesson on the topic of tawhid Till now we have studied the types of tawhid they are tawhid ar-rububiyya tawhid al-uluhiyya and tawhid asma' sifat Today we we'll learn the conditions by which the kalma e tawhid la ilaha illallah is accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the earlier lessons we learned about what does worship mean and when does it gets accepted the answer is the act of worship is accepted when it is done only for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam like for praying salah praying salah is an act of worship for praying salah there is a condition doing wudu or ablution if this condition is not met then the wudu is not accepted sorry then the salah is not accepted like this only we will see some conditions if they are not present then saying of la ilaha illallah will not benefit So there are seven conditions they are al ilm having the knowledge al yaqeen being certain al qubul acceptance al inqiyad that is submission al sidq that is truthfulness al ikhlas sincerity and mahabba love so when these conditions are met then the kalma La ilaha illallah is accepted. So let's see each of them in the light of Quranic verses and ahadith. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, "Wa min an-nasi man yaqulu amanna billahi wa bil yawmil akhir wa ma hum bimu'minin." And of the people are some who say we believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. from this ayah we know that allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that there are some from the people who say that they believe in allah subhanahu wa taala in the last day but they are not believers it means that allah taala has not accepted their belief in allah and the last day from this we know that merely saying the sentence of la ilaha illallah is not enough we have to meet its condition and act upon them as well so let's see the first condition that is ilm al knowledge sorry al ilm knowledge so we have to gain the knowledge of la ilaha illallah what the shahada means what it intends in terms of what it negates and what it affirms what is the claim what what is the claim when we say la ilaha illallah is it only saying by the mouth is it enough For example if a person is going on a street and we stop him and say bro please say la ilaha illallah and he repeats those words as we ask him so does this mean that the person knows what he said and he understands it and does he lead a life according to that no because he just repeated what we asked him to say that's it so we should first learn its meaning This was covered in the earlier class. Its meaning was that there is no deity. The meaning of la ilaha illallah is that there is no deity except Allah subhanahu wa taala. The first part of this sentence is negation. La ilaha illallah means la maabud bi haqin illallah. That there is no true deity except Allah subhanahu wa taala. So this sentence claims that. A person should worship only Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and should not associate any partners in worshiping Him. Allah Taala says in the Quran, in Surah Muhammad, 
فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Know that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us that we should know that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a hadith, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ مَاتَ وَهُوَ يَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُ La ilaha illallah who the khalal jannah. Whoever dies while having the knowledge there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, he will enter paradise. In this hadith, we come to know the importance of having the knowledge of la ilaha illallah. When we will act according to this, then and does not and we will not associate any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his worship then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us ga- means may Allah make, of, make us from those then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the glad tidings of Jannah paradise means whoever dies having this knowledge that there is no one worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then for such person is Jannah and if there is a person who is unaware of this knowledge, means he is ignore. The opposite of knowledge is ignorance. If a person is ignorant of this knowledge of kalmay tohid, what does it demand? Then what does it demand? Then he just only merely says it. So then he has not fulfilled this condition. Now let's see the next condition. That is yaqeen certainty so when we get the knowledge of this meaning of kalmai tohid knowledge of this sentence of kalmai tohid then they should also be certain about it without any doubt and suspicions we should be so certain about this kalama that we shouldn't have any uh, any kind of doubt any uh, we should be like absolutely certain. Okay. So in today's class we learnt about the two conditions. That is Al-Ilm and Al-Yaqeen in detail. And we also learned that we have to believe with our heart in the Kalmai Tawheed. That is La ilaha illallah. And we should be so certain that we should not entertain any doubt in it inshallah in the next class we'll see the rest of the conditions subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu